I love strolling through Westchester. So many cool shops and restaurants. Cool spot I found for you. They brew their own beer in small batches. And how about some oysters to go with it? Let's go to Greystone. What's up, Mike? What's going on, Bob? I got to tell you, I love seafood. I love sushi. But I'm not really sure about the whole oyster thing. So Understandable. can you swing me the other way? Of course. There's a variety of oysters. They range in flavor depending on variety. A big variety of flavor, sweet, it, not sweet? It ranges, so the briny of the oyster, you're gonna get a little bit more of a punch of salt water, kind of like the taste in the ocean a little bit. Some of them are a little more mild. We would do a uh, buck shuck Monday, Sunday and Monday, okay. from four to eight every week. That offers a variety of select oysters. So okay. they can, you can pretty much get as many as you want. The Blue Points, everybody knows, generally, it's a pretty common oyster out of Connecticut. All right, so I'm a newbie, a rookie. Let's give it a try. What would you suggest? Well, let's Set go with the up. blue point like we just talked about. Get one of those out. I'm gonna shuck it for you right here. We take great care here to make sure that all of our oysters are fresh and kept fresh appropriately. So I'm gonna pass that off to you, Bob. That's your blue right, point you oyster. Go. You have a cocktail sauce and a red wine vinegar mignette. Maybe a little bit of squeeze of lime. Just slurp it down. That's all you gotta do. Here we go. <laughs> We just got the here. Good. Yeah. I love the sauce. The sauce. Add it. Sauce makes it. Let me up on another one. All right. Give me the Raspberry Point. Okay. Out of Prince Edward Island, Canada. Canadian oysters. They're a little bit on, more on the mild side, so you're going to get not as much of a brine coming out of them. A little less salt flavor. Is there a pearl in there? No pearl, unfortunately. It's How a little, often does that happen? It, it's, it happens on occasion. It's rare. Here we go. Smells up. Just slides right down. It does, man. Just like I'm at the playground. Slide on down. <laughs> and after the oysters, you kind of move down to the bar area. I'm thirsty, Emily. Here you go. So what do we have here? What is this? That is a spicy margarita. Spicy margarita? Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. We thing. infuse our tequila in-house with cherry peppers and then make our own sour mix with an wow. old brand. OK. Yeah. Oh, you Good. know what? I you taste a little kick yeah. of Gets the spiciness the afterwards. OK. Yep. Oh, look at it. Look what Emily has. Now, this is a, okay. this is a sampler. So the, yeah, Good. so these are going to be six wealthy. If you wanted to try like a brinier one, those are the ones we recommend. And then we these are the six raspberry point, which are the sweeter ones that you oh. like. How about a cheers? OK. What's the occasion? My birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> oh, what's your first name? Brittini. Brittini. It's Brittini's birthday. Oysters for everybody! <laughs> Bottoms up to the birthday girl. Right. Boom! <laughs> All right, I moved on from appetizers. What do we have next, Emily? All right, here is our lobster roll oh. and our tuna poke roll. Wow, first of all, it's. I love a good lobster roll. It's good because it gets messy. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's great. Is it good? Mm. This is our Greystone brew house. Uh, we have our very own brewers who come in. They'll brew our beer for us. Uh, this is the beginning of the process. Beer and oysters, man, go hand in hand. You can't beat it. Yeah. Bob, I can't let you go without having an oyster shooter. This is our Greystone shooter. Fresh shucked oyster at the bottom with our signature Bloody Mary mix at the top. <laughs> Add some vodka. Well, buck a shuck and oyster shooters. I think it's time for happy hour. Hey. Cheers, guys. Cheers.